Duke concern tonight about China's military capabilities amid a report the country recently tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile. Because they're fast and they can avoid detection, they can decrease the amount of warning time we have and the amount of decision time that leaders have to respond in a crisis if hypersonic weapons are used. Dr. Derek Tournier. Dr. Tournier. Dr. Derek uh, Tournier. Dr. Derek Tournier. Grand Forks Air Force Base and at Redstone, that's where we're planning to have our Mission Operations Center for Tranche 1 and beyond. So that's where we actually intend to fly our satellites out of, do all of our satellite and network operations as well as mission operations done out of, out of Grand Forks Air Force Base to make sure that we're tied in to the tactical air community, especially the tactical UAV community that the Air Force has in North Dakota. So that's why we're looking to, to those two locations for our, our mission operations. North Dakota's congressional delegation makes a stop in Grand Forks for a ribbon cutting at Grand Forks Air Force Base. It is where the Space Development Agency's first ground operations and integration center will be located. The center will operate and control multiple layer satellite operations for missile warning, tracking, and defense. So that's where SDA comes in. SDA will field a constellation of satellites that will have the sensitivity to actually detect these, uh, these, these hypersonics, these advanced missiles, while they're in flight. So we can detect them and through communication directly with our transport layer, we can update their position and velocity in real time so that we can update shooters with exactly where the impact point will be and exactly how they could, they could intercept that. Senator Kramer, the godfather of the Space Force. <laughs> I want to start with the disruptor side of things. Uh, Secretary Covell, you referenced non-traditional <clears throat> you know, partners. I remember one of my very first discussions with General Raymond was, you have a white sheet of paper, please don't Please utilize the, the, the freedom that that provides and, and don't adapt to the culture that you're coming from. Um, when I think of the SDA, the Space Development Agency, I always, I always think of the SDA as the disruptor within the service itself. No, I think you're right. The, uh, <laughs> Thank you. So from where they fit in, all things proliferated at low Earth orbit that relate to missile warning, missile tracking, as well as data transport, SDA is our go-to. Operations 